Adam, you used the word uh, proper men's performance last week at Baseford. I imagine you could put that in capital letters after what we've just seen today to beat Tamworth for nil. Yeah, first and foremost, I thought um, two two good sides going toe to toe. You know, they're, they're top of the league for a reason. They play the pressure game very well. We're very direct, good at it. Um, as I said before, you know, good management team there. They're well organised. Do what they do very well, and. Um, yeah, you can see why why they are where they are, and, and no doubt will be pushing come the end of the season. So um, it was a game really where scoring early again, it, it, the movement was good, great finish from Ash, and I thought I had, it, I had everything really. A big crowd, um, horrible weather, wind blowing everywhere, um, and a proper I'd call it an old school football match, which it was in in the mode, um you know, no, no, no bars given. Um, everyone, both sides gave their all, and, and we come out winning the game one nil. You know, um, as I just spoke there, off about a ball retention could have been better at times because I thought that first twenty minutes when we kept the ball, I thought we, we looked outstanding. Um, so, so all in all, it was a massive win in the fact that you know we need we needed to win to keep to keep us in the mix. And, and that's helped us. So, but a, lo- a long way to go. Um, the lads enjoying that with the fans and um, and together. But I just said in there, you know, let's not dine on it. You know, we've got um, another tough test on Tuesday. Yeah, we came out the blocks and we've been uh, critical this season of, of actually going 1 0 behind at home in most of our league games. But you, you must have been pleased the way we came out, passed the ball, and George putting Ash through to put us 1 up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we were full of energy. I thought we were today, really. I know, like we said, it ended up heavy. Good job it didn't come an hour, an hour before. Um, but I think the crowd enjoyed it. You know, I, I thought we were excellent off the ball. I thought the work rate, hard yards was different class and on the ball at times probably not as good as as, as, as what we um, could have been at times but I think that was the nature of the game it was 100 miles an hour as I said two two good teams um, and two fantastic supports there today and I don't know what the crowd was but it was um, it was a great atmosphere and um, you know I, I just think yeah all in all I think neutral come along and just seen honest bunch of people playing football we'll come on to the crowd in a minute but um Again, one thing maybe we've been critical of this season, last season, whenever is set pieces, but we've probably defended more long throws, corners and free kicks in that game than we have done all season and that must please you as much as getting the three Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we, we knew what was coming. Um, we were guilty of giving away silly throws, silly free kicks, but, you know, as a defender and as a when you're defending them, you defend them with the lives and, and, and that's what we did. We put our bodies on the line and... Um, Defenders defend, and I thought we did that exceptionally well as um, as a team. So uh, you know, I just thought defensively we're excellent today. I don't think we we got to our open apart um, at all. Uh, and any time they probably they did have a couple of sniffs was when you know a little bit of hesitation. And um, Robbo made a great block in the in the first half there when really shouldn't have needed to be um, just that little bit of hesitation. But um, all in all, when you're playing your the league leaders and you know what what we created really again that little bit of wastefulness um, and we limited them really to no real clear clear cut shots that White has had to save so so we've done something right uh, like I said um, 100 miles an hour could have been better on the football at times but um, but no I think I think you know that's purely emotional as such really because that was the nature of the game and um, yeah we um, I, I just thought you know credit. Everything they gave, you know, they left everything out on that pitch as a group, and um, and that's what won every game. Yeah, you mentioned the crowd. There was one thousand and fifty here, which, um, from what we can see and look at, is our biggest ever regular league game attendance. We've had more in cup games, and we had more against uh, Russell in the playoffs. But to get over a thousand fans in for a, a standard Saturday league game is, is shows where where we're going off the pitch as well. Yeah, it's brilliant. You know, and I think you know the noise now. Here, it's a it's a proper football ground. You know. Um, I remember the days when we're playing uh, teams in the Midland Alliance and we're struggling to get over 100. You know, we, even though we're, we're doing pretty well, but I think I think the the town has started to get to grips with with what we're doing as a football club. Um, 
and coming along and, and what we're building, you know, as we've got this, the, the old setup, the kids' teams, the, the old community base. And I think everybody feels part of that now and people actually realise that, that we are um, part of the community and uh, people are coming along realising that we do actually exist because years ago people didn't even know we were here. Um, despite the fact we had a Wembley appearance, so um, so yeah, so yeah, we're moving in the right direction. But we know there's lots of hard work, you know. As we, you know, as I've said all along, some massive clubs in this league, you know, Tamworth today, National League club, Conference club, Nuneaton, again, massive resources, you know, all, all of these teams. Um, so we've got to be on a metal every single game, and uh, in order to achieve things, but. But, you know, one thing with us, it'll never be through lack of effort. On to the longest trip of the season. It was the start of a big week. We've got uh, Tamworth who were top, but I actually believe Leeston, after their win today, can go top if they won their games in hand. So, back-to-back -back games against teams, first, second, third, followed by an FA trophy run at Banbury. It's, uh, they don't come much harder yeah, than yeah, they? Yeah, it, it's brilliant. You know, I think the thing is, as a player and as a manager, you want to play in big games. Uh, I've done an interview yesterday and... Yeah. Where would you rather be sat in, sat in mid table, uh, thinking in that horrible weather as a player, or thinking everything's everything's on a game of football? And um, that mentality, you know, we're playing in a lot of big games this year, and I think that that will stand the players in in, in good stead. Um, but you know, it's where you want to be. You know, you, you want to be pushing yourselves. You want to be mixing it with with the best, and um, and we've got to set our standards and keep them and keep getting better.